Something that I care about with my videos is how well people are reacting or responding to the message. Whether they really like it, whether they really dislike it, that's how I measure the success of my channel. It's not in likes or subscribers or anything like that, but this presents a pretty big issue in terms of analytics and data. I mean, what metrics actually represent human impact? Because, you know, likes and views are ones that people are obviously drawn to, but those are influenced hugely by the YouTube algorithm. There's this huge invisible hand that comes in and determines which videos are going to become popular and so on, sometimes for pretty arbitrary principles. It doesn't necessarily reflect which videos have impact on people. So I need to figure out a way to measure the impact of my videos on people. And I thought, well, what data do I have? And then an obvious one came to mind, and that's comments. See, comments are kind of this unfettered view into how people are actually responding to my videos. They're not going to be vetted behind a like or a dislike. It's not represented in a view or anything like that. It's somebody writing out their actual thoughts on a video. And so there's data in there that I should be able to extract. But one of the big problems is there are hundreds and thousands of comments on my channel now. And as I try and go through them all, I, I can't really get a representative sample. I don't really know how people are always reacting to my videos because I just don't have the time to read through all of them. But I'm a programmer. I can write a bot to do that for me. So step one is probably the hardest step. It's just downloading all of the comments for a YouTube video. This is pretty easy though still, this whole problem, pretty easy. All you have to do is, is set up a little app in the, in the cloud, the Google Cloud, it's free to do it. And then you can use their API to download all of the comments for a video. It takes a little bit of you know, programming beyond their example, but honestly, pretty easy. So then step two is actually analyzing the comments that we have, because now we have a list of all of the comments for a video and we need to figure out how positive or negative each of them is. We need to figure out their sentiment. And to do this, we can use something called sentiment analysis. So there's a library in Python called NLTK. It stands for the Natural Language Toolkit. Kind of irrelevant. Basically, within that, there's something called the Vader lexicon. And Vader stands for something too, I'm not really sure what. But it's pretty cool. Basically, what it does is, for certain words in the English language, it assigns a value. So there might be positive words and there might be negative ones. So a word like good might have a positive value and a word like bad might have a negative value. And what they've done in the Vader lexicon is they basically put together a dictionary of all of these words and phrases and so on. And then what you can do is you can run a chunk of text against that lexicon and come out with a score. And then you can normalize that score from negative one to positive one. And then you get a representation of how positive or negative the comment is, or that chunk of text is. It's, it's a really dumbed down way of doing this. It's kind of, you know, naive, but it actually works surprisingly well. And people have used this type of sentiment analysis in pretty large scale applications. So for us, it'll do the trick just fine for now. So we've retrieved all of the comments and we've analyzed their sentiment. And so all that's really left to do now is to play with the data and to graph it. And so what I did for this was I uh, just exported the results into a CSV file, which is basically a spreadsheet, if you don't know. And then in Google Sheets, I just put together a histogram. So a histogram is just a way of kind of understanding the distribution of a series of numbers. And it does so by bucketing them into, you know, ranges and so on. The technical details aren't super important. Basically, it allows us to see how many comments are negative, at the varying levels of negativity and how many are positive at the varying levels of positivity. And we can see the distribution of the spectrum of sentiment for all of our comments. So yeah, I mean, this was just a cool little project that I put together in a couple of hours. And um, I mean, there's a bunch of ways that it could be extended. So one way that it could be extended is by taking into account the number of likes on a comment, because I think that it's kind of unfair to weight a comment that has 2000 likes, the same as one with zero likes. Another way of obviously improving it is by using something other than the Vader lexicon because while it works, it's kind of naive and it doesn't work perfectly for YouTube comments. And then the third way that I thought would be kind of interesting would be to do some cross video analytics. So to bring multiple videos into this and get all the comments from them and then do maybe a cross channel analysis to see what the comments on a channel represent. I don't know, it'd be kind of interesting. So if you're interested in, in looking at the code for this project, or maybe, you know, implementing some of those extensions yourself, then uh, check it out. It's on GitHub. And if you make an account or you have an account, you can leave a star, that would be super cool. But yeah, I mean, it's actually a pretty straightforward script. It's pretty simple. It's like a hundred lines of code or something. It's nothing much. And most of those were copied from Google from their example. So yeah, check it out for sure.
All right, thank you so much for watching. This was my short Tuesday video. I'll have a longer video on Friday. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe drop a like if you liked it. And I mean, of course, don't forget to comment. I will see you on Friday. Put it on the line.